or anything about his, uh, his mental makeup at all on the links? I think he can. Um, you know, uh, on that particular day, uh, we were kind of scrambling, so it'd be better to get more of a one-on-one -on -one competition with him. And, and unfortunately, you know, the NCAA rules, uh, you know, don't allow us to really compete at the highest level of golf. But uh, that'd be fun too. But that'll have to wait for him until uh, a later date. Are you a booth or a coach on the field guy? I'll be on the field. On the field? Have you always been like that? I've been on both. Okay. I've been up, I've been down. So why on the field here? Well, I think it's important um, from a leadership standpoint to be able to uh, rally the troops, uh, so to speak, and, and to be able to, to look Cliff in the eye and have a good conversation with him, as well as clear communication with any adjustments that we need on the field, uh, to be able to talk to each personnel grouping, be able to talk to Coach Franklin. Um, I just think the, the communication is, is very critical, and at the same time, you have to have uh, good eyes up in the box and be able to trust them, which we do. I was going to say, who will your liaison, so to speak, in the box be, and how important is it that that person and you have pretty much think the same way, I guess? Well, it, it, it's critical um, that we have um, consistent information flowing from the box to the field. Um, and, and in the past, um, it, it's always been good as long as the information is uh, 100%. Uh, you do not want to transmit any communication if there's any uncertainty uh, but when you have expert guys in there with years of experience uh, those guys are used to seeing it and when they say it's a particular movement or coverage or stunt or blitz um, or alignment then you're trusting what they say have you had a preference throughout your career in terms of box or booth or is it just dependent on where you were you prefer the field okay is it harder or easier to call plays from one or the other? You have the bird's eye view up there. but on the Well, field, if it was harder or easier on one way, I would err on that. But I had tremendous success on, on, on being up or down. Um, not to toot my own horn by any stretch of imagination. But um, it's, been, it's been fun, and, and I like both of them. You know, trusting the guys upstairs, but also seeing it from the ground when you're practicing or when you're scrimmaging. You know, those are, those are thousands and thousands of reps, and you're calling it, and you're seeing it from the field. So actually, when you're practicing, you've got more practice reps from the field than you do from up top. What do you need to expand on that value of being able to look your quarterback in the face? Well, it's an emotion, right? It's emotion. And players can feed off emotion. Um, you know, they can feed off your confidence, your positivity, how you communicate, and then when you can calm them down, when you need to spark them up. Um, and those sorts of things. I think uh, just from an emotional standpoint, it can be a, a significant boost. But then also, you know, just from um, a standpoint of communicating, you know, adjustments and that sort of thing, it's more free flowing. And, and I think uh, sometimes in, in college football, you gotta get guys on the, on the, on the telephone or pass a headset tool. Um, it's, it's less efficient in between series. Like, what was the biggest thing you 